Hello, hello. Uh, welcome yet again on the King's Menu. Like you have now known, my name is Sanga Kakoma, or Pastor Sanga Kakoma, or Pastor CK, as others would call me. Uh, I pastor Liberty Christian Center Sanctuary of Wealth in Avondale under Bishop Eddie Mulenga, and I'm privileged to be on the King's Menu with you. May God richly bless you as we establish one or two thoughts concerning wealth. Amen. Today, I'm going to be focusing on a topic or a subject that people don't want to really associate out themselves with, especially in today's time and age, the principle of uh, beginning small, the principle of beginning small or small beginnings. Zechariah 4 verse 10 says, do not despise the days of small beginnings. Do not despise the days of small beginnings. Yes, small beginnings may look like starting with sweets, but no, listen. Small beginnings are a sign that you're willing to grow. That's the first thing that you must able to, to establish. That small beginnings are a sign that you are able to grow. And the Bible says, He that has begun a good work in me shall see it unto the end of days. The Bible says, I know the plans that I have for you, plans to give you a hope and a future, the end. The Bible says, He knows the ending from the beginning. So your beginning small is not determining what God wants to do in your life. It is determining that the fact that you've begun this journey towards where you are going, towards God's uh, thrust, towards God's zenith, towards God's height. Amen. So when many people want to begin, they want to begin big and it is a problem in wealth creation because when you begin big without developing a bigger mind to handle the things that God is bringing your way, then the same things that are supposed to be a blessing will crush you. Somebody say amen. It is the same principle. Luke 16 verse 10 says, he that is faithful over a little shall be made ruler of much. So if you want to do great things you must begin with the small things when you do the small things well you'll be able to be trusted with greater things so the principle works everywhere i want you to understand that in the biblical order and the principle according to deuteronomy 28 that's your homework what you're supposed to do is you need to understand that the lord says i will bless the works of your hands so the hands are things you can handle by yourself you can touch you can do this thing and he said i will bless thy baskets the kind of baskets that were talked about are things that people would hold two or three people so you begin to engage into partnerships and then he later went on to say i will bless your bands these were the storehouses that needed to be to be held and to be had security and everything but it all began with the blessing of the hands small things so always begin at hand level what can i do with my hands where can i go with my hands who can i help at small level then the lord will make it into something that needs partnership cooperation other people to join on board other ideas other systems other mindsets other perspective and other ways to look at different things and before long it will become a household name and that household name becomes a ban for everybody to see where you will need security systems insurance companies and other expertise to jump on your board in order to further God's agenda but remember it all began with your hands don't despise the days of small beginning start that cake thing start that small business start that uh, bus business but always have the end in mind god doesn't do small things he does big things to the measure of who he is and the lord shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory so the glory of the lord is to see something start and reach to his place or to where he wants it to be may the lord bless you as you begin small don't despise the days of small beginning that church that school that idea that that concept begin it from scratch and you will begin to develop the much needed expertise even the promised land was not given to them in one day the bible says according to exodus 23 and exodus 7 that behold i will give you the land little by little for when i give you at once it will overwhelm you and the nations and the animals around you will consume you the reason we get consumed overworked 
depressed and all these things is because we don't want to grow into. We want something that gives us a name, something that makes us famous, something that everybody is talking about. But son and daughter of God begin small and grow together with that entity, grow together with that business, grow together with that idea. When the time is right, the Lord will make things beautiful. May God enrich your wealth perspective and may God make you flourish and prosper in the land of the living. That idea must begin today. Somebody say amen. See you next time on the King's Menu.